really hopefully quick video here um, just doing some little maintenance here on my IBM X40 as you can see I've already disconnected some stuff here but my CMOS battery is dead uh, which is not helpful at all um, the main thing here is that my aftermarket Wi-Fi card is not working because IBM and Lenovo after them both did uh, allow lists or white lists for their Wi-Fi cards which means that you have to use a utility to actually get it to recognize other Wi-Fi cards this creates uh, it sets a bit in the bias uh, but if your bias battery runs out and you don't have a working battery and you're not connected to power suddenly that's gone and uh, as I'm starting to actually think about using this thing or having it work for something I'm going to have to replace the CMOS battery and then I'm gonna have to no 1802 this so anyway long story short short video I'm gonna do this and hopefully it works now to remove the CMOS battery it's helpfully located under the keyboard instead of having it available in this panel which would make life a lot easier uh, luckily it's a ThinkPad so um, everything's pretty well labeled you got keyboard 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 and keyboard and we should be able to do it. Oh, sorry, and keyboard. So, let's keyboard. I have to kind of push up on the keyboard. And lift it out, and so I'm just all right. Got that, and I see the CMOS battery, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull off the keyboard connector here, put that off to the side. And here's our CMOS battery. Now, the CMOS battery is, I think, kind of double sided taped down. And so I'm just going to gently lift, came off nicely, and then I'm going to pull out this connector. And the new battery I have is just a standard Chinese battery. Nothing exciting here. It already has the three wires that I need instead of me doing it myself. Now, if you have a two wire battery. The only thing you have to know is that red is your positive and white and black are both connected to the negative on the battery. So red goes towards the back, black goes towards the front. And then I'm going to kind of route it around here. And then a little bit of double sided tape not interfering with the screw hole here, which is good. And that should be it. I think we're good. My fan is looking clean. The SD slot's looking fine. I think we're in a good spot. So I'm going to go ahead and reattach the keyboard. didn't want to have it happen. Luckily I didn't damage anything. The problem is I don't actually have this lined up properly, which can happen. So down in down. There we go. Alright, that's secure. And now we just put the screws back in. I 
like that one. Now I'm going to disconnect the Wi-Fi card and just test a boot. success. All right, cool. That's it.